Hey everyone, this is Justin from Black Box My Car here with the Thinkware F750. I'm here today to show you the Wi-Fi app on this unit. And so basically to turn on and off the Wi-Fi, there is a light indicator right here and you just hit the Wi-Fi button. Wi-Fi enabled. And that turns on the Wi-Fi, you'll see it's blinking now. And you just want to go into your phone. Now that the Wi-Fi is on, you just want to go into your phone, turn on the Wi-Fi and look for the Thinkware. Default password is the numbers one through nine. There you go, really quick. And you just want to start up the Dashcam Viewer app. Connected to a smartphone, recording stops. So, so this is the home screen of the Thinkware Dashcam app once you've connected to your Wi-Fi. You go into Live View, you can see your uh, how the camera is aimed. You can see your GPS status, zero kilometers an hour, obviously, and the voltage going through to the device and the time of the system right now. So right now I can see the time is 1030. Uh, my own clock is 1130. That means this clock is off. So I know how to, I know I need to change that. Voice recording disabled. Interestingly enough, you can disable the mic from here. Voice you can also disable it enabled. using the button on the device. So we have our continuous files here. Any files you have downloaded to your device are gonna be highlighted in blue. If you wanna download one, you just, all you have to do is hit the three dots and click download. It takes about a minute to download a minute of video. Uh, the file size is about 80 megabytes for one minute of video. So it's a little bit larger than what you see on the Blackview or BlackSys cameras. You can also stream videos if you click here. It will start playing after about five seconds or so. You can also delete video clips straight off of the camera from the app. That's something exclusive to the Thinkware system. With all the other cameras, you can download the videos off of there, but you can't actually delete a video. Um, and then you have your videos downloaded folder here. These are all the videos that are already saved onto your phone's hard drive. And you can also delete them just by going through here, deleting and you have your different folders. So these are the parking footage, continuous footage, and manual footage. So if you hit the record button, that will go into a manual recording mode. And that's great if you're putting together a YouTube compilation or something like that, and you wanna share a video, it moves it into that different folder. Uh, memory card settings, this is an important one. It's not quite as customizable as the BlackSys uh, memory card settings, uh, but basically it always prioritizes continuous mode footage pretty much. Um, this is a default 61% continuous. Only about 80% is actually dedicated to parking mode. I generally prefer to leave a lot more for parking mode. So type C leaves about 20% for parking mode. So 5% for incident, 15% for motion detection. And that's the one I prefer myself. Uh, video overwrite settings. This is a pretty neat feature. You can disable overwriting for specific folders. So like your manual recording folder, if you don't want it to overwrite um, and make room for newer videos, you can turn that off because you might have important videos in there you don't want to lose. Dual save settings, this is exclusive to Thinkware. Uh, so we have our videos that are saved onto the actual hard drive of the camera. And it only has a limited amount of space, so if you know that they're not useful, you can go in there and delete them. Or you can download it. So you can click there, download it to your internal memory, that's another option. If you go into your dash cam settings, camera settings is gonna have your video quality differences. So you can't change the resolution, but you can change the brightness. You can turn on and off the dynamic range. And uh, record settings, generally I like to set the G sensor sensitivity pretty low for continuous mode. Uh, you can choose whether to turn on and off parking mode, but you have to have the hardwiring kit to use these features. Also parking sensitivity G sensor. Uh, we generally set that a little bit higher motion detection, whether you want that feature to be activated, uh, sensitivity of the motion detection, you can tweak your, your timer. Um, so this will turn off your device after you've parked your car for say six hours, 12 hours, etc. cetera. Um, and then your off cutoff voltage here. So this uh, has a range from 11.6 volts to 12.3 volts. So that's a pretty good range, really easy to set. Uh, most people only need to use a 12 volt setting. They also have 24 volt settings as well. 
road safety settings. So safety camera alert that you can turn on and off and that will let you know if there's a red light camera or a speed camera up ahead. Um, vehicle type road safety warning system. So this uh, basically tweaks the height of your vehicle. So trucks are gonna have it a little bit higher, SUV and then sedan. And that adjusts your lane departure and forward collision warning system. I generally turn these down pretty low or turn them off altogether because I find they're quite annoying because they don't really know when you're uh, making say a legitimate uh, lane change. The system doesn't know and it beeps warning you that you're making a lane change. Um, so if you want to turn them off, if you don't like these features, just uncheck them and it will say setup changes have been saved and you're good to go. And then we have our system settings. So we have language, volume, security LED, which is the LED strip on the front. You have a few different modes there. And your time zone. So you can play around with your time zones. Um, it's a little bit different than how Blackview does it. Blackview lists all the cities and you have to find your city. Speed unit. With uh, Thinkware system, there is no speed display on the video itself. If you want to view your speed, you have to go into your Thinkware uh, desktop viewer and you can see your speed there but there is no actual speed in the video itself that's why there's no off uh, button wi-fi settings you can change the name of the wi-fi and the password and that's about it so this is the thinkware dash cam viewer app we're going to also have a web version of this walkthrough uh, just be a little bit more in detail. We'll talk more about the different features and what these different modes mean. But thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more content about the Thinkware F750.